YouTubers, this is Joe Drums coming to you. Hope everybody out there is doing great. I'm doing awesome. Uh, today I had some questions about rudiments uh, from some of my students. And I, I thought I'd do a little video about rudiments. I've probably done uh, a couple of these over the past few years. Uh, talking about how rudiments are really important and how to you know apply them to the drum set. Because when we first start learning rudiments, basically, you know, we start with either a practice pad or we start on the snare drum. And that's great and all, but then once we get those down, we really don't have any creativity of what to do around the drums. Well, that's what I'm here for you, you know, to do to, today for you. And uh, if you guys have any questions or uh, comments about this or you have any other uh, ideas, you know, throw my way. Um, I'm going to explain some of these right now. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is... Uh, let's start with the, uh, the basically the rolls. You know, there's the long roll, which is basically left, left, right, right, left, left, right, right. Uh, the single roll, left, right, left, right, left, right. Those two are probably the most important out of all of them because those are the ones you do mostly on the drum set. You know, if we're playing a rhythm, sometimes if we're doing, you know, right hand, left hand on the hi hat, we're playing right, left, right, left, right, left. Uh, if we do a little roll around the drum set, you know, obviously we're doing right, left, right, left, right, left this way. Um, you know, we can do things like right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left, all the way around the drum set as well. Um, so again, these are very, very important um, rudiments that we use every day in our playing and uh, in our music. So we're going to talk about some of those today. Uh, the other ones like the five-stroke roll, the seven-stroke roll, the nine, the ten, the eleven, the thirteen, the fifteen, the seventeen. Pretty much all of these are, you know, different ways there's some longer, some shorter uh, to put in your fills when you play. Um, you could put, prob you know, probably put these into a pattern as well if you sat down and thought about some of the ideas. But again, uh, it's really up to you what you want to do with them. If you want to add them as a fill or add them, add them as a pattern. Uh, but the first one I figured we'd start with is like the the seven stroke roll. So, but you know, here's the seven stroke. It's right, right, left, left, right, right, left. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Notice I said seven, not seven, because sometimes I get students mixed up. If I say seven, they want to go seven. So we want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Um, now to break that up around the drums, again, if I added that as a as a fill, let's say just on the snare drum for right now, if I played a beat, so. I just did another rudiment there, uh, a, a rough, which is basically just a left, left, right. You can buzz it if you want to make it sound a little bit more, I don't know, interesting, like that. Or you make it double. Um, so to break this uh, seven stroke up, let's kind of do it between the toms and the snare. So I'll give you a little bit different idea of what you can do with it. So instead of going, you know, how about okay so that's the seven stroke roll uh, if we want to go a little bit shorter let's talk about the five for a second too you can kind of go with the five stroke in the snare as well and you get this. So again, five, one, two, three, four, five. Um, if you want to kind of, you know, spice it up a little bit, you can kind of do like some rolls and kind of buzz, which is kind of like the seven, but it 
it's the nine now, so we're going a little bit longer. So the nine stroke again is. You can alternate that. So how to use that in a playing situation? One, two. So as you can see, the nine's pretty cool with that too. Um, if you want to just start working with doubles and just not do rolls at all, you can kind of do that as well. I think this is the first thing I usually tell my students when working on doubles is just to kind of go around the drum set. So you do two on each hand, but go all around each drum set. So or each drum, I mean. So you're gonna go. five-piece drum set. You know, so if you wanted to add that for, you know, a regular rock beat. Um, so as you can see, these are really fun to do. Um, I'm going to do some more of these, probably the next video as well. So um, you guys, you know, look for that uh, very soon. Um, there's actually a book too I think you can buy. I forget who it's by. I'm going to find out and let you guys know. Uh, but it's the rudiments and how to apply them to the drum set. Um, some of those ideas I've kind of taken from there as well. Uh, a lot of the ideas are really mine. I've been doing these for years even before I saw the book come out um, because I just kind of wanted to experiment with rudiments. So I think everybody should do this. I think it's a great thing to do and again like I said if you guys have any questions feel free. Again I really appreciate the uh, subscribers coming so keep them coming. Keep the likes coming and uh, we'll talk to you guys again real soon. Until then this is Joe Drum signing off. You guys take care.